Hey, Karma 3D on the tube here. Uh, this is a tutorial on a sticky surface, uh, more so about getting more out of it. This was uh, something I stumbled upon when I had to finish this project. And uh, what I required was the ability to move this four-point polygon over a terrain and uh, have each corner of it uh, stick to the surface, you know, and then uh, this way I could use that as a guide for the tires and, and the suspension system and all that stuff that I had rigged in that car. But I needed it to be able to, to access the changes that Sticky made, and it turns out nothing can. And let me show you. Uh, here's a simple scene here. I just know going across the terrain. I will turn on the Sticky surface. Go in the motion editors, hit M for motion, edit options, and then choose Sticky. And then on the terrain, choose sticky surface. So as you can see now it's sticking to the surface. I have a little null with a diamond shape on top of it so you can see it easier. So the problem with this plugin, as nice as it is, is that nothing will see it and when I say see I mean it's the last in line after you go to every frame, it's the last thing to be calculated, so nothing has access to those changes. And to prove that, I will go into my motion options of the camera and tell it to look at sticker, the little null. And as you can see, it's definitely not looking at it. It dips below the crosshairs and stuff like that. So this, in a way, is like uh, Lightwave seven years ago or back then when nothing could see IK. Well, this goes back to those old standards. So I had to get a way to get around this. So what did I do? Here's what I did. I'm going to load up this. Uh, actually, I'll just select this null and replace it with an object I have standing by this triangle. I'm going to tell this guy to have uh, double-sided surfaces so you can see it. All right. Now, we now have geometry going up and down, and we know that this point down here at the bottom is uh, touching the surface. I'm going to remove this little diamond guy. We don't need him anymore. All right, so what I'm going to do is go in the properties of this triangle, dynamics, and uh, actually there's several ways you can do it, but I'm going to choose soft effects and turn off all operators. And then when I hit calculate, it's going to store all the point data for every frame on the animation and I will edit out this because you don't want to have to sit through this. I'll see you on the other end. Okay, the calculation is finished. We have all of the dynamics baked into the object even though there's no actual dynamics. It's recorded all the points positions throughout the animation. And uh, here's a little preview of that. Okay, so the next step, I'm going to pull up my properties panel. We have soft effects here with the calculation ready to go. Click on the edit effects tab and the edit tool. Now, 
you can see one of the points that have been highlighted and we got the squiggly line showing the path of that particular point throughout the animation. So if I cho choose this guy, there we go. And then I use the command make path. So what that did was it generated a null that follows that path. So what that means is we now have full access to the effects of sticky even though it's not directly sticky, it's been transferred to another null. I can now go to my camera motion options and choose to look at this new null and here's what happens when I make another preview. And there you have it. You can see the camera is locked onto that squiggling deviation along the surface. So uh, there you have it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. It's a quick one this time. And I'll see you next time.